Hi, it's Debbie Williams and today I'm going to talk about how a past trauma can affect uh, things in an everyday situation. Um, what's inspired this video is I had a, a message from somebody saying what would you do with a person who is pretty calm, their normal state, uh, but if a female shouts at this person they they kind of lose it so to speak. and it relates back to um, a time in childhood when their grandmother or something went to stab them or something like that. I perhaps didn't read the message quite clearly now I'm doing this. But it's inspired me to do this because this is quite a common sort of way that people react. Not, not that the grandma stabs them, but that they've had something that's happened in childhood and it's got locked in and then they grow up and later on in life um, they get on and everything's fine but somebody happens to press their buttons in a certain way and for this person a female shouting at him suddenly took him all the way back to grandma doing that and the fear and everything and of course naturally that person flips out and this happens quite a lot of well I don't know why I lose it blah blah blah, blah. Um, I remember working with a chap who, who came for help to stop lying and for him he'd been abused as a child and not only did he have problems with lying, he had problems with anger and rage and that was with, you know, if, if, if men around were disrespectful for him he'd beat them up so not only did we sort the lying out, the lying was something that he learnt to do as a child because if he told a lie and got away with not getting a beating then that was a good thing but it became a habitual pattern as he became an adult as well so it was interfering with his relationships and, and what have you. So how would I work with this? Um, it's Within one session I could lift potentially all of it, usually probably about 80 or 90 percent or a big layer of it. I, I tend to look on these sort of issues to really get people going in a better direction on two to three sessions and the first session is like it's a big mountain and then the second session it's more like a molehill and the third session which usually there's a longer gap so people can their brain can recalibrate sort of a new way of, of thinking. Um, so how I'd work with it, on, on a lot of my downloads, um, Ultimate Confidence one comes to mind, there's an exercise on there, a triangle exercise, where pretty much you look at this as a blockage, button presses, the behaviour happens, you're a tunnel vision, you can't not do what you're doing, whether it's lying, whether it's aggressive behaviour, whether it's a jealous rage, you're, you're locked in that trance of doing that. So what I want to do is to scratch this old outdated record or CD if you're younger by putting in a resource, 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 resource. So it's like 10 to 1. And so then when the brain tries to play this record, what happens is then there's like a, a scratch in the record and rather than going into the old behaviour of ah or whatever it is, it's like ah, how do I want to handle this? And part of the resources I put in is say from Richard Branson, somebody that I use a lot for anger. So if they step into Richard Branson's shoes, then take him into the point of the triangle where the problem is and I facilitate then, you know, if Richard Bradston had been running your brain the last time that you lost it, just run through how he would have handled that situation. So now I'm teaching the person to have an alternative choice of how he could have done this or she could have done this. And layering this over and over and over, then it sort of rewires the brain so it has alternative choices. And a lot of times, say, if somebody comes to me with anger issues, they're suffering as much as the people around them because it's so frustrating they don't know how to stop it's like button presses that's it bah, it happens and so by be giving them choices and getting their brain to to practice over and over in the first session of well if they'd have done it in the style of Richard Branson or if they'd done it in the style of this person or that person how does it feel over time and they're like oh, that was okay it was okay and this is called learning and so by stacking those states over and over, their brain then in the future has a choice. It can still do the anger, but because it's learnt that the other state feels good over time, it's much more likely to take that way. And when I've worked with anger, I've had people come back to me and said, oh, my road rage went. And we weren't even working on that. We were working on the fact that 
you know, they're in a relationship and their partner's been walking on eggshells for years and said, that's it, unless you sort your anger issues out, we're done. And so they're motivated to sort that out, but it has a ripple effect on, on everything else. So if you have a problem with anger or rage or something that's firing off from the past or that you've just got an emotion that's totally out of control, I can definitely help you with this, and, and so can a lot of good NLPers. Um, I say that, that you know, you may need to search and find somebody who feels competent in doing this, because what we've done, and, and my colleagues as well at Just Be Well, is we've we've literally, we look for how can we solve this, how can, what is missing, what could we do instead, and so we've refined strategies that are not necessarily taught within NLP, but effective strategies that can sort people out within two to three sessions with pretty much 80% to 100% of it gone, really, in the first session. It's just the follow-up session to, to lock it in and to give you reassurance that, you know, it won't flip back to the other way because, you know, we've conditioned your thinking to think in a much more effective, empowering, mature way on how to handle situations. Um, and again, you know, if you wanted to help with this, um, my Stop Anger recording has got the triangle exercise on, the um, Ultimate Confidence one has, the Stop Lying one has, because it's such a powerful little exercise. It's basically a triangle on the floor where you isolate the problem there, you shake it off, step out, and I'll have gathered some resources on the track before, and you take one resource at a time round through the problem, and you step out on a, a break state, and you take it through. And it's a way of delivering in a resource into here, a resource into here, a resource into here. Obviously, if I work with somebody one-to-one, -one, it's much more tailored to that specific person's needs. But I've had people who've done the the uh, recordings and they've come to me and they've wiped out a load of stuff by themselves. Um, and they, they just have got stuck with certain other things. Or for some, they listen to it and they, they get an idea of it, but they're not quite getting it right. And it's amazing when they come to session that I, I work out, ah, that's why that's not working. You've added something else to this. Um, on my page where you can book a session, the top video there, I think, is a lady who had 25 years worth of jealousy. And she got so far with the CD. And when I worked out what she was doing in the triangle exercise... She was stepping into a friend's shoes at work who wasn't jealous at all so that her brain could learn how to do that. But then she added in her own stuff. But, ah, what if she's like me? I can put on a good show. And most people wouldn't know I'm insanely jealous. What if she's like me? It's just an act. And underneath all that, she's thinking, oh, what is he going to do? Da, 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 da. And so she contaminated a positive state so it's never going to work like that so um it was quite funny when when I did the exercise with her I thought what the f are you doing that ain't gonna work is it and she knows why now and and understands and and her video is quite inspirational because she says you know 25 years it's, it's just gone um pretty much within the first session okay great talking to you today bye now